This building, uh, which I rather like actually, is quite simple. It's a sturdy one-piece thing that you can pick up and, well, I'm not going to throw it, but it's pretty sturdy. Um, uh, the main walls, the uprights, are made out of foam core, capperboard if you prefer. It's a, a plastic foam sandwiched in between two thin layers of card, and you cut that, uh, I did it pretty much by eye, into wall shapes, and uh, I glue on little lintels and sills. They're just rectangles of cardboard, but they, uh, they improve the windows quite a bit. And uh, then I paint brick red and grey in the cross section. Um, white walls look quite good, but, and uh, black streaks coming up the window, suggesting that the uh, building was on fire at some point. And uh, you may notice that I've got wallpaper on the inside various different designs, but they're scaled to one seventy-second scale. You can download these uh, wallpapers for free from my website. Now then, how did I do all the rubble? Wasn't that a huge amount of work? Well, actually, no. Um, that is, it wasn't much work once I'd created the moulds, because what I did is I made a load of moulds like this. You see, that's an outside corner mould, and it's sitting in its uh, mould support, and uh, here are some more. Here are a couple of straights, you see. So when I take this out, there's the latex mold and uh, I just put it in there so it's uh, supported nice and horizontal for when I'm pouring the liquid plaster into it. There are a couple of inside corners there and then you get a load of these. So there's an outside corner and there's another different outside corner and another one and you have inside corners and something which you get for free is uh, these small ones because when you fill the mold you can just partially fill the mold and so you just get the top of some other shape and so you get something that looks different but it's actually a cheat it's just the top bit of another one of your molds then you just glue them into position so you can see there's an inside corner there inside corner there inside corner inside corner here's uh, one that I've not painted yet so maybe it's a little bit clearer how it's made so you can see the rectangles glued over the windows there and you can see a bit of sticky paper on the corner to uh, hide the join and you can see there's a straight casting there and uh, there's another straight there and here I've got a corner that's made out of three inside corners joined together so if you make inside corners only uh, you get effectively inside and outside corners and there's an outside corner there and there's the same outside corner but glued on the inside of the building because there's a little bit sticking into the building uh, the main texture of the base is our old friend Brown Acrylic Mastic and uh, I've thrown a few little bits of cardboard and cat litter and matchsticks and so forth in there to uh, just create a little bit more rubble texture and that'll paint up very nicely. Um, British viewers of this video may recognise what this lamp is. It's the stem of a Remembrance Sunday poppy. Perfect for a street lamp, although one sticking out the side of a building. One of the joys of making terrain for World War II wargaming is that if something goes wrong you can perhaps turn it into a ruin. Uh, I'd read some instructions on the interweb of how to use linker moulds to make curved castings. Uh, essentially you wrap the mould around something cylindrical like an aerosol spray can. Uh, but as you can see from this I didn't have much success. In fact I, from the looks of it I didn't get a single casting to come out perfectly. So what I was able to salvage from the wreck I glued into this a broken down chimney and then added loads and loads of rubble. The rubble um, has at its core just bits of foam core just to just to bulk it out and keep it light and then over the top of that mastic and lots of PVA glue and just lots and lots of bits of castings that didn't quite make it out right and uh, once, you've, once you've been doing a load of plaster casting for a while you'll have loads of this rubbly stuff. So there you go, glue it all together and one ruined chimney. Look at it, it's ruined.